everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a haul, you guys. Guys, a pretty big haul. Well, it's not huge. It's not a huge haul, but it is a haul from a lot of different places. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. Let me explain first, though, as I've been going through my decor, uh, and, and as you know, it's more of a plug-in kind of a, you know, a fall decor for me. But what I'm finding is that I need this or that to help me, you know, almost more structurally sometimes, and I'll, and I'll explain what I mean, or just uh, a little something to bump an already existing decor up another notch. You know, something I've thought of to help with the blue and white decor. The first thing I'm gonna show you is just to help with the blue and white decor that's gonna stay with the blue and white, but will also look pretty with the fall. So, also too, I found a couple of things on sale that I could not, you know, resist. So, uh, and I went to the Dollar General too. Uh, still no pumpkins, you guys. Just wanted to let you know, my Dollar Tree, my Dollar General have no pumpkins, no velvet pumpkins. I have nothing here in Spotsylvania County, honestly. And I've been into almost all the stores. Now I've been into Dollar General this past week. I haven't been into the Dollar Tree, but anyway, I can't find them. So I'm doing without and that's okay. That's okay. I'm good. I've got enough. <laughs> Goodness knows I've got enough. So anyway, the first haul I've got, let me see, I've got a list here of, of all the places that I'll be hauling from. Uh, Amazon, Home Goods, Dollar General, Michaels, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby. I think that's it. Watch, I'll come up with something else, but I think that's it. <laughs> so anyway, let's start with Amazon. You know, for a while there, I was having issues trying to think about how am I going to do my kitchen for fall? Because I love the Pioneer Woman plates. I love the blue and white in the plates. And they have a pop of red. Now, they're red roses, but we can pretend they're red mums, right? <laughs> but I have decided that I'm just going to infuse a bit of red fall into my kitchen decor to go along with the already red and blue, red, white, and blue, but not kind of red, white, and blue patriotic. No, with the, you know, the, the more classic blue and white decor. But what I decided was, is I wanted some chargers. I wanted some blue chargers. And I thought I would put these in the windows by themselves at first for fall. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that be pretty? before I decided I was gonna go ahead and use the Pioneer Woman plates. So then I went to the hand, Mr. Fix-It, Mr. Helpful, and I said, Chris, is there any way that you can glue my Pioneer Woman plate onto this blue charger? He went, oh yeah, I've got something called Gorilla Glue. And I said, well, we've got E6000. He said, mm-mm, we're not using E6000. Let me use this glue that I have, and he called it Gorilla Glue. And I am telling you, you guys, these plates are not going anywhere. He said, that is permanent. Are you sure you want those plates on there permanently? I said, I am positive. And now this, I, so I had him do the, my three Pioneer Woman blue and white with the red roses plates. Two go in the windows and one goes over here by my, then sings my soul lantern. And they're going to all sit like in plate stands like that. But isn't that pretty, you guys? I thought that, I love that. Now that's not to say that I won't put, you know, the plain blue charger somewhere, I very well might. But I just love the way this charger frames this plate. It pulls out the darker blue in the plate. I love it. I think it is so pretty. You know, i tell you what my mind does not think of, you guys. Honest to goodness, it's always running. It's always uh, I need to find my off switch sometimes I really do but I had him do it he did it to the three pioneer woman plates I had like I said two for the two for the windows and one for over here by my then sings my soul lantern but I asked him also asked him to do it to two of my melamine these are melamine plates that I got from and that 
uh, one of which goes up here on my desk and the other goes up on the shelf of my ivy table. And I don't see why I can't take these plates throughout the year, including fall, not Christmas. As I said, it'll be a full switch out for Christmas or pretty much a full switch out for Christmas. But then I'm going right back to the blue and I am perfectly wonderfully fine with these chargers being on the back, you know, being glued to these plates. Look at that. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. So I love it. So that helped my brain relax a little bit when I finally decided, I just said, you know what? I'm not gonna try to kill myself thinking about how I'm gonna just get rid of the red or change out the plates. Or so. I don't wanna change out my plates. I don't wanna do a bunch of switch outs and change outs. Like I don't wanna take my three tiered tray apart until it's time for Christmas. You know what I mean? I will be adding, if anything, to that three tiered tray. That three, three, I'm gonna get rid of the star on the top and we'll get back to the three tiered tray. Oh my goodness, that's not, squirrel. <laughs> ah! Okay, so there we go about the chargers. So I'm very happy with that decision. And it looks really pretty when it's up in the windows, which y'all see, it looks really pretty. Okay, so there we go. So that was, they were from Amazon, and I'll put a link, you know, no, I don't remember how much I paid for them, to be honest with you. It was not an exorbitant amount of money, and I got a set of six. I got a set of six. Now, you can, you got to be careful on Amazon. I got Amazon Prime, but you got to be careful because they'll try to sell you the same six for $56. Don't spend that. It wasn't, they weren't that expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but it, I, I'll put it, put a link or I'll flash it up here and let you know, too. Okay, so that's Amazon. So let me move on here to Home Goods. I had walked into Home Goods looking for uh, the smaller blue and white pumpkin. Here's a picture like I have over at the hearth. I wanted a smaller, I had an idea at that time when I was walking in there right now for life of me, I can't remember what in the world I was wanting it for. But I thought, oh, if I could get that one, one more little one, then I could put it blah, blah, blah. And I had some kind of something in my pea brain. <laughs> Well, I couldn't find, there are no more in my home goods. None of, the, no, none of the big ones, none of the small ones, they're gone, kaput. I don't know whether they'll put any more out, but here in Spotsylvania, they don't have any more for now. And uh, so I was like, okay, all right. And I, at that time I was like, they don't have any. And I was walking out and put my eye, the pillows are kind of on your way out. Like I need another pillow, like I need a hole in the head. But y'all know when you see something and it's going, Arlene, Arlene, come over here and take a peek at me. <laughs> As you know, I bought these pillows from at home. These pillows were $24.99 a piece, y'all. Good heavens. But I bought them because I really like them and they really match the, my blue and white. And I was just gonna set these on the couch and they would have been fine just by themselves. They would have been just fine, but won't they be a little prettier with these pillows behind them? <laughs> these big, fat, gorgeous. They're, you know, they have the, the you know, like the Liz karate chop you can do. And oh my goodness, and if you, if you notice, these are a little bit of, I don't know, you can tell, yeah, plaid too. So look at that, y'all. Won't these be pretty sitting together? Two, two for $24.99. One for $24.99. Two of these big, better pillows for $24.99. I couldn't resist, so I did pick these up for $24.99. I love them. I have two of them. I love them. And they have like this Sherpa kind of backing. Oh, they're so nice. Okay, so I got those. That's what I got from Home Goods. That's all I got from Home Goods, actually. So, see what I said? A lot of different places, but just not much from each place. So that's what I got from Home Goods. Love those pillows. Okay, uh, next on my list is Dollar General. Our Dollar General is very small. It's a very small little place, but boy, it's chocked full of goodness sometimes. And it, they don't have a lot of fall. They don't have hardly any florals in there. They have some but nothing that I was interested in. Plus I have enough florals really and truly, as you all saw. <laughs> uh, but they did have a couple of signs, which I thought were really cute. And this is one of them. And I really don't know where I'm gonna put it. It was $4, $4, $4. 
Welcome fall. But look at the ivy on it, you guys. Isn't that cute? I just thought it was cute. And the little blue pumpkin with the orange. So I thought, well, I'm getting that. Mm-hmm. Again, I don't know where I'll put this. Maybe up in my, set it up in like a plate stand in my uh, hutch over there. That might be cute. But I got that. $4. And then, as you know, I'm going to be bringing up my fall tree. And I'm going to set, I've decided I'm going to set it here next to my ivy table. Right over here. There's Theom. Hi, buddy. He's sleeping. <laughs> You zonked. I don't think I can, I don't think I can, no, I can't uh, zoom in from here. But anyway, there's my ivy table and I'm gonna move this uh, birdhouse this way, I think, and put the fall tree there and I'm gonna set the birdhouse next to the fall tree and then next to the birdhouse, I think, either this will go on this side or on the other side, I got this. Look at this, is this not cute? Give. Thanks. And it's on like, it stands up all by itself. Look at that. And it was $8. Hello, $8, y'all. I couldn't resist it. I thought it was really cute. Blue and the burnt orange. I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I walked in there and I was just, I wasn't looking for anything specific. It was on my way home, literally. I went, let me just stop in here and just see. I was looking for the velvet pumpkins. I was thinking dollar, not dollar store, but I was looking for velvet pumpkins which they didn't have any, but I love this. I think it's super cute. So this is, this will go with my fall tree. I think somehow, some way over here with this stuff. Then let's see, uh, let's go to Michael's. I don't have much from Michael's. Actually, I, I, the blue garland that I used for my pumpkin, I had picked up two more. I actually have two more of those in the garage that I'm going to use around here somewhere, probably here at the, at the uh, ivy table shelf. I think I'm gonna wrap it up with the green garland I have up there. Cause I really like that look with the blue and it will stay, go back up. It'll stay through fall and then it'll go back up in January. I think that is super pretty. But anyway, remember how I said in my dough bowl there, as you can see, I have the green planter in the middle. And remember I have those, uh, the velvet pumpkins and they have a gold stem on them. And I had mentioned that I thought I might like to go and get a gold lantern from Michael's. Well, hello, I did. And I thought this was super, and it, it, it is a brushed gold. It's not a shiny metally gold, it's a brushed gold. And I'll be honest with you, I just ordered, made it, placed an order with the pitberrybarn.com. And what I'm gonna do in here is I'm going to wrap a piece of the pitberry blue and cream pitberry. You guys, wait till you see this pitberry. It is so pretty, just wrapped in the lights, which I think is what I wanna do. I think that'll be really pretty. But isn't that pretty? Just a cute little gold. It's not huge. It's probably maybe about 13 inches tall. I'm not gonna make a bow for it or anything. It'll just go right, it'll replace that planter. Again, I'm plugging in fall and it will put, replace that planter. I'll remove the hearts that I have in the dough bowl and the center planner and replace it with this and the velvet pumpkins, two of the velvet pumpkins. I think it'll be pretty. I'm excited. So I got this for, uh, this was $30, 40% off because this is considered fall from Michaels. So super pretty, I love it. So that's what I got from Michaels. And I uh, went to Joann's. Uh, the day that we were at the Subaru dealer, remember that day? Uh, Joann's is over near, close to the Subaru dealer. So when we picked my car back up, I said, Chris, I'm gonna run over to Joann's. And he said, okay, I gotta go into somewhere he was going into. So I am looking for something else to go on top of my fall tree. And I found this, and it says home, H-O-M-E. And I thought to replace that sunflower, but I think if I can, I don't know what I did with the paint that Stacy was using. Uh, if not, I need to go get some paint. I'm gonna try to paint or have Chris or somebody paint the H-O-M-E in 
in um, blue. I'm gonna paint over the gray into my blue. And won't that be pretty? And put that in place of the sunflower on top of, you know, as my tree topper for my fall tree and build around this in the fall tree. And my fall tree might not have much in it this year, y'all. It might just have a new bow topper and whatever, you know, lighter uh, ornaments I can find. I really haven't found any, or I might need to go to the Christmas department and look and see in their ornaments, but they're not on sale. So I might have to wait till after you know, Christmas to buy some of this stuff or wait till the Christmas stuff goes on sale and it might just have to wait till next year. You know what I mean? My fall tree might not be, there might not be much to it, but I know I, I ought to start building. I don't, I can't recreate the wheel. I can't, I don't want to afford it. Let me put it that way. I don't want to spend more, more, more money on this, especially when things are not on sale. Y'all know I don't buy stuff when it's on sale. I really and truly don't, very rarely. I, I'll bite the bullet like that dumb pillow <laughs> and buy those pillows every now and again. But if I find something that I just cannot resist, I will do it, but very rarely. So, but I thought I could augment this. This was, oh, the price tag's not on it. I want to say it was like 11 or $12, 40% off. So I figure I can paint the HOME. So that's what I bought this for. And then as I was walking through, I just saw this and it just it says, it's a pumpkin that says gather together. And I may try to put this in with my cozy corner or this on my cray cozy corner over here. Uh, or it may go in my hutch. I'm not sure where this will go, but I just thought it was pretty. Just gather together. Simply autumn. And they don't have their prices on, is it on here? I don't know how much this one was, but super pretty I love it so that's what I got from Joann's and then lastly oh no that's not all I got from Joann's sorry I got these two little pumpkins aren't they cute little pumpkins I put those cream I had some cream candles out here I'll get a couple of votives and put them in and this these were $14.99 but 40% off little metal pumpkins that are going to go. I'm going to fix it to show you where I think my ivy table, I'm going to do a uh, bit of a different, I'm going to, I'm going to infuse some um, wool rub bronze into this ivy table and blue and white, you know, but I think these will go on there. It's, I only have so much room and I've got a lot to put over there, so I'm not sure how far I'll get, but I bought the, these with that in mind. I thought they were cute. And then I went to Hobby Lobby very quickly just to get this taller uh, candle holder for $9.99. And I used my 40% off discount coupon because I had two like this. See that? And I wanted one bigger to match it because I'm going to put, remember these I haul, or I showed you when I went through my fall stuff, I found these in my coffers downstairs, but on the ivy table again, I thought wouldn't it be cute to put these, just set these over on the ivy table like that. Isn't that cute? So I thought that was really pretty. So I don't know how or where I'll put them over there, but I thought they were pretty, you know? So I, I just went in to get this one little holder candle holder and as I was standing at the register literally I looked up and I looked over into like the next aisle and they have you know how they put like stuff up on their shelves uh, and I looked over and I went <gasps> and I looked at the lady behind me and I said do you mind if I step out of line real quick and just run over there and get that she said oh honey don't you don't you worry yourself you go ahead you go ahead over there and you pick that up. That's so pretty. And I explain, and as I'm walking, I'm like, I'm doing blue and white and I gotta do, you know, and I just saw that and I gotta, and I'm adding, burn, and I was just yammering away at that poor woman. She's like, honey, I don't care if you get the, go get what you want. It's okay, I'll hold your place in line. I hate to inconvenience people. I hate to do that or, you know, when people just step out of line and then they don't come back and then they come back 10 minutes later and go, I'm up back in my place. I'm like, well, wait a minute, you left like 10 minutes ago. I didn't want her to think that I was, you know, anyway. So I was trying to be kind, but anyway. 
after all of that, I went and I picked up this, which was really cute. I thought this, they have a plate to match this with the blue and I didn't have to, I, I have to maybe go back in and see if I can find that. They have one with green that I already have, I showed you last week. But apparently they, well, I saw it, it was sitting there. I didn't see it until I walked back away and got back in line and I wasn't about to step out of line again. Anyway, I got this. I thought it was really cute. This is, it was $13.99, 40% off. Happy Harvest, isn't that pretty? That's my blue, y'all, you know? I love that. I think the plates from last year have this color, that color green on them. But apparently this year, some of them anyway, have this color blue. I saw what's sitting there, so I'm gonna have to go back in and maybe get me a couple of those, because I think they're pretty, next time I'm in. So I picked that up from Hobby Lobby. And then the only other thing I got from Hobby Lobby were these little tea lights. They're called Harvest Spice, Harvest Spice? Yes, Harvest Spice. Reason and again, this, I think I'm gonna put this on my Ivy table. This is, I had this from last year, and I got this from, Hobby Lobby, I believe. It doesn't have the tag on it anymore, but I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby. These pumpkins, you can kind of unhook them. See that? And they each hook on. Isn't that pretty? So I wanted to get some tea lights to put in these little pumpkins. And I did not check my Ivy table. You wanna bet I probably have. I probably bought a pack of, oh, they smell so good. Oh my goodness gracious, I wish. We had smell a tube. Oh, harvest spice. Oh, you know that smell that is that oh, it just reminds you of fall. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. I'm just gonna put one. Do they fit? Yes, they fit. Yay! One in each one here. I think I'm gonna burn these this year since I have like a whole pack of them. And probably, you wanna bet, I have a pack underneath my ivy table too where I keep all my candles. Because I would have bought a pack like this last when I bought this. <laughs> so maybe I'll burn this. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna have to see if they, they have candles in there. I bet you they have a bigger candle, Harvest Spice. Anyway, there we go. I bought those little candles to go in these little pumpkins. Isn't that pretty? I love this. So you can kind of see where I'm going with my ivy table there. Gonna leave the blue and white table runner on there that I had on there. And see, nope, not quite there. You can see, here's Sam, same spot, hadn't moved an inch. <laughs> he is full of energy, you guys, bless his heart. But anyway, that's it. That is my whole haul, I think. Let me look well, real quick here. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so again, a lot of different stores, but not much from each store. So I guess next up will probably be my cozy corner, my big cozy corner. And I'm not sure exactly, again, what I'm doing with that. I need to wrap my brain around that and figure out something to do. Again, it won't be much. Probably will be a new funky bow with that pretty ribbon from perpetualribbons.com. You know, the, the blue with uh, the, I have one more roll of that. Uh, and I'll keep that probably up at that end, you know, to, you know, pull that in. I'll probably do that and I don't know, make a new bow for that spray. I'm not taking the spray off. So anyway, regardless, that'll be next probably. So I'll probably take uh, Wednesday off and come back maybe Thursday and I'm not sure about Friday. We'll see. We'll see how far I get this week. I'm not sure. There's not a lot on our schedule that I know of right now, but that doesn't mean that something won't come up. <laughs> So, but probably I'll take Wednesday off and be back Thursday with something. So, and maybe Friday, hopefully Friday, but I don't know. All righty, y'all, that's it for this one. Again, thank you all so much for stopping in to see me. Uh, also, thank you again for all of your comments. I have been trying to chit chat with you a little bit more in the videos since I'm not commenting back to you guys. Uh, somebody did have a question for me. I do have some questions in my Q&A, so maybe I'll try to start doing that in my Q&As, but somebody asked me a question on my, what was it she asked? Oh, about how I, uh, do I worry about the wind blowing on my front porch and on my mailbox and stuff. Uh, I don't remember your name who said that. I'm very sorry. I hope you're watching. Uh, I, I, when I put stuff like in my wagon, 
I don't worry too much about it because the wind, for whatever reason, doesn't like pick it up and carry it anywhere. Now I do have a crate on top of that and I will use tie wraps and tie it down, whatever I put up there down to the crate. Other than that, I really don't worry too much. As far as my mailbox is concerned, I really don't ever put anything really pricey out here, out there. And I spray it all with Never Wet, you know, which is the stuff I use to keep things water repellent. It does not make it waterproof, it makes it water repellent. But it really does help my bows stay nice out there. I really don't worry about too much. Uh, if we do put anything out there, we do we do use tie wraps and we do, I have rocks in the bottom of my little trough and I tie the tie wrap around the rock or I put a tie wrap around the rock and then tie the tie wrap to whatever it is I'm standing out there. And that's how they get held into place. So it does get windy sometimes, but I don't worry too much about it. Cause I don't, again, on my, out in my mailbox, I don't put anything exorbitantly expensive that I'm too worried about, you know, and on the front porch, I do have my porches protected and if it's going to be, if we're going to get like big thunderstorms or a big windstorm, I'll bring stuff in, you know, and set it in the foyer and just protect it that way. But that's how I do that. And I don't remember another question or I'd answer some questions. Let me go see. I don't know how much time we have, but let me go get my computer and I'll see what other questions. I wish I could remember who asked me that question. Uh, please forgive me, honey. I'm really sorry. I did not pull your question off yet. I hadn't yet out of the... Uh, comments usually I put them on a sticky like I'm fixing to pull up right now oh I have a lot of stickies hang on here we go my glasses y'all I just oh my land my hot mess okay I've got four questions first question was from Susie Hewitt she says how do you effectively clean out your vehicles light colored seat belts well, Susie, honest to goodness, I've never had to clean my seatbelts. I'm not sure how we would do that. Probably with just water. Chris does not like to use any kind of cleaner on, um, on like leather seats or whatever. And what are seatbelts? Like a material of some kind. I would say we would probably just try to use maybe just soap and water, regular soap and water, and then rinse it off. But... I'm honest to goodness, I've never, I've never had to clean my seat belts. And then with the seats, if we, if something needs to be wiped up, we, I just use water. Yeah. Uh, Chris doesn't like to use like chemicals and stuff on the on the leather. So nothing, nothing. I'm no help in that department. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, number two, Amanda Thrasher. If you had to choose only one decor, oh my goodness, what would it be? That is not a fair question. <laughs> that is not a fair question. Uh, I love, I have such an eclectic mix, uh, a decorator's palette, so to speak. I'm not pigeonholed into one. As you all have seen, you know, you all been with me now almost three years, going on three years I've been on, on YouTube and I have run the gamut. I've run the gamut through country, through uh, nothing modern, I wouldn't say, but through country, through a bit of farmhouse, through a bit of uh, shabby chic, through, you know, uh, a bit of Tuscan thrown in, you know, for good measure. And I just, you know, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I don't want to pigeonhole myself into one decor that, that I would choose. If I had to choose a seasonal decor, I would choose Christmas. I would choose Christmas. That's my favorite time not only for the decor, but for the reason for the season, Jesus being the reason for the season. So I would say that I'm really, I will say though, Amanda, that I'm very much enjoying my, this blue and white decor. Very, very much enjoying the, the, the subtleness of it, the softness of it. Uh, I'm enjoying not having so much stuff, you know, not that I'm a minimalist, goodness gracious knows, I could never be categorized as a minimalist and don't want to be, you know, uh, but I do love the, the, you know, not using quite so many tchotchkes and not using quite so much, you know, of everything. So I know that probably didn't answer your question, but I don't, I don't know. I love it all. I love to decorate. Decorating is my passion. I love to craft. Yes, but I love, love, love 
to decorate. I want to get everything else done in a day so that I can go and decorate something. That's how much I love it. I remember, and this is, I've said this before, but I remember when I was younger, and I didn't even realize that I was a decorator, so to speak. I didn't, I, I was raising my kids and taking care of our house and Chris and volunteering my tail end off. And I never thought about, oh, you're, you know, you might have a little something, something, you know, in the decorating realm. I didn't have a clue. Uh, but I do know that back then I used to love to get everything else done, get my house clean, get my dinner on, get all that done, get my volunteering work done, whatever I was doing done so that I could go and decorate. So for that reason, I love it. And it, you know, excuse my laundry hanging on the door there. Isn't that attractive? That's attractive, isn't it? Well, y'all know I live here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, I just noticed that as I was talking. Okay, number three, Miss Julie Monroe. Hey, Julie. <laughs> All right. She was talking, oh, she, you asked me this when Stacy and I were here. And she, you said, I love you two cuties. Y'all are such a great team. What a great sign. It must have been on the sign or my welcome sign out there. Here are some questions to add to your list. Can you tell us about making money on YouTube? Are purchases tax deductible? Not holding you as a tax professional. Uh, does one make money from using ads? Uh, well, I don't make a lot of money with YouTube, Julie, honest to goodness. Uh, I make, you know, enough money to turn around and put back into my channel. But I don't have a lot extra to put away. Well, it depends on the season. Sometimes I do if I'm not, you know, recreating anything. Uh, but... And I'm not going to say how much I make, but it's not a lot. Uh, you make the money. I am monetized, as you all know. And for those of you who've been with me from the from get the get go, for the first year I had YouTube, I did not want to monetize. I said I'm not on YouTube to make money. That's not my goal. I don't. Everybody needs money. I don't mean to say I don't need money. Everybody needs money. Everybody has times when they need money, you know. But that's not why I do YouTube. For me, I do YouTube to be a help, to, to share what I can do. You all know I never balk at sharing where I get anything. I try to support people that I get my, my you know, uh, ribbon, for instance, with perpetual ribbons or my pit berries with the pit berry barn. You know what I mean? I, I love to help other people. I do have, I, I am a helpmate. You know, that's what I've done my whole life. Sorry. So that's why I do my YouTube. The only reason that I monetized my YouTube channel was because I cruise. And I don't necessarily want everybody in the free world knowing when I will be away from my house, you know? So I wanna be able to schedule my videos out. And even to this day without doing any cruising, I still schedule my videos out, y'all. As y'all know, I'll, I'll make a video on Friday and put it up on Monday. Or I'll make a video Monday and put it up Tuesday. You know, I, I, I used to do them same day and sometimes still do but most of the time I schedule my videos but you cannot schedule your videos a YouTube creator cannot schedule their videos to go up at a different time unless they are monetized so I didn't have a choice if I wanted to do that so, and I explained all this to y'all and you're like Arlen make money if you want it's okay you know it's we don't care if you make money and I know y'all don't <laughs> <laughs> it was just something in my head, you know. That's not why I'm on YouTube. I'm not here to make money. I don't want people to make, think I'm whatever, regardless. But the way you make it is through AdSense, A-D-S-E-N-S-E. -E, uh, and, you know, the, the ads that go up at the beginning of my videos, the skip ads and the overlay ads, and that, that's where you make your money, uh, depending on how many people make your ads. I do, uh, I believe subby count does make a difference. Uh, I'm not positive on that, and I'm, I'm not in the know about that, but it sure doesn't hurt because the more subbies I have, the more views I have, the more views I have, the more money I'll make. Uh, I don't have an exorbitant amount of views. You know, I get... You know, I get whatever, however many I get per video, you know, and as the video stays up, you know, I'll get a, a, a punch of views and then it's been, as it's been up, then, you know, 
I'll get money, let's say, from last year's Christmas home tour. I can still make money on that, you know. So, while I'm answering this, a lot of you ask me about the music I use. Uh, that is all from YouTube. I can't share that with you guys because I don't know how to. <laughs> Unless you're a YouTube creator, then I could tell you, you know, where you could find it. But as far as I know, that music isn't available, but except for YouTube and these artists must have a deal or something with them. But anyway, uh, I am not tax, would you say tax, uh, uh, no, my purchases are not tax deductible. I pay full price for my purchases. I am not sponsored by anyone yet. And uh, I, I, I'm not, you know, I pay just like y'all do. I pay just like y'all do for everything. So, uh, so I guess that's it. Does that answer all your questions? Make money. Uh, it's, you know, and as I said, I, I made a promise to myself that my goal, you know what my goal was when I first started, which was a very lofty goal. <laughs> my goal was, oh, I want to take Chris and I on a cruise. I would love to take, I would like to be the one to pay for our cruise, for a cruise. Now, cruises are thousands of, with a paycheck, you know. That's what I want to do. Oh, I don't even get close to that, you guys. There's no way. I had lofty dreams. <laughs> I didn't work out. Uh, and it may, you know, maybe in 10 years or something, but if I'm still <clears throat> on here. But what... I promised myself with that was that I would turn whatever monies I make over and put it back in my channel so that I could continue to bring you content and so that I could continue to bring you ideas and crafting and you know decorating and car chits chats and organizing videos and tr travel videos and whatever else you know so there you go I hope that answered your question Julie Okay, and Marion, so blessed, sweet Marion. She's a neighbor of mine, not neighbor in the neighborhood, but she lives close to me here in Virginia. She said, your question, uh, do you think you would ever move again? Yeah, I do, Marion, actually, I really do. At first, when we first moved in here, as a matter of fact, if you go back and don't go back, my Lord, I don't even know what it would, what it would be like, but my very first home tour, I remember saying, we're gonna be in here forever and they're gonna have to carry us out of here. Our thinking has kind of changed. We've been here in here six years this fall. I can't believe we've been in here six years. And honest to goodness, you guys, I can see where we will want to downsize. I can see where uh, the yard, we have a lot of acreage, almost five acres. It's going to be, a lot of it is not cleared. You know, a lot of it is wooded, as you all know. Uh, but I can see that what is cleared is a lot and i can see where chris is going to tire of working with the yard it takes both of us to clean this house i do not have a lot of people I, it, it kind of just hurts my heart when they go who who do you hire to clean your house me myself and i and chris we are the ones that clean this house we are not rich people we are not we just happen to save money and plan you know, we planned regardless. I can see that we will want to downsize and that we won't have to mow the grass and vacuum all the square footage and keep these floors up. And, you know, now can y'all imagine me trying to downsize enough to go into a, you know, but I'll do it, but I would do it because I'll still have my decorated spaces and I would still go from, you know, from, from vignette to vignette, you know. Uh, it would just be on a much smaller scale and that would be okay because we travel a lot you know and we wouldn't have anything to worry about you know with a big house like this you have a lot to worry about you know just a lot of maintenance stuff you know so yes i can definitely see that we will i don't know when you know in the future lord willing our health will hold out longer and you know uh we'll be able to you know i love having this house to entertain my family I love it when they come here and spend holidays here. I love it. I love having this home. I love this kitchen that I can sit in and we just, I mean, when Stacy comes, for instance, we sit and craft and talk and chat and we hardly move, leave this island. This is where we sit, this is where we cook, this is where we eat, well, we end at the table, you know, but we didn't turn the TV on the whole time she was here, you guys. The whole time she was here, we didn't turn it on once. 
We didn't turn it on. Well, all we did was chat and spend time with one another and enjoy one another. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what families, and that's what this, this home has helped me achieve as a mom and as, you know, as a, as a cousin and as a niece and you know, daughter and what, you know what I mean? So, but yes, I can see us downsizing eventually. And that's it. That's all my questions. <laughs> so, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them in an upcoming video for sure. I think I answered everything that I've had. Uh, so, I, but I'll be glad to answer them. I, I'm an open book, y'all. I'm an open book. <laughs> so, feel free to ask and I'll answer when I can. So now I will close this video out. I have no idea how long it is and it says 42 minutes and it may might be that long, but you know what? That's as long as it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with it, you know? So anyway, I hope that all is well with everyone. You know, I get emails from y'all and y'all tell me about your, your, your health problems. And I am so sorry that we have some, some, some of our family here, my YouTube family struggling, and I, my heart goes out to you and my prayers. Uh, when I say I pray for you, I really do, you guys. So uh, for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.